Impressive shots and hunt showdown make for good clips, of course. But in general, good aim is always an advantage in a shooter in the PvP as well as in the PvE aspect. But anyone can learn that, it's not just reserved for the talented ones, as it's often said, and all you need are the right basics, the right settings and a way to practice. And those are the things we will look into today. But before we look at specific stuff, let's talk briefly about mouse acceleration. This is a feature in Windows that adjusts the speed of your cursor depending on how fast you move your mouse. It's terrible for video games. So be sure to disable it. For that, go into your mouse settings, go to the additional options, the pointer settings, and make sure to turn that off. Because if the mouse cursor never behaves the same, it's very hard to build muscle memory, and this is crucial for developing good aim in a video game. Next, we have the mouse sensitivity. And, well, <laughs> Showdown doesn't exactly make it easy for us with all those settings. And this is why we'll take a short look at how we can set up the whole thing. We'll start with the default, the default sensitivity. And for that one, you have to experiment a bit until you find something you like. What I would recommend is that you can at least do a 180 with, well, one movement of your mouse. So be it the wrist or whatever. Because, well, if you can turn around reasonably fast, well, you can't react to anything that's behind you. Plus, you don't want to break your wrist when you have to turn around <laughs> or, well, send your mouse flying. On the other hand, I would say the upper limit is somewhere at 270 degrees. Because from there, you no longer have any advantage. It's not Call of Duty or Apex Legends where fast movement is required and you have to turn around very quickly a lot of the time. In Hanshona, most of the targets are relatively small and in front of us, and therefore small flicks are required. And there you need precision. This means it gets easier with a relatively low sensitivity, as long as you can still turn around. And this is why I recommend a low sensitivity, just like in shooters like CSGO or Valorant. So, with that we have our default sensitivity. Now comes the tricky part, because we want to have the same sensitivity on every scope, while well, relative to our monitor distance. Sounds confusing, but don't worry, we will take a look at this now. What we want to achieve is basically that no matter at what zoom level you are, the distance on your monitor is always the same with the same mouse input. So if I move my mouse that many centimeters, my cursor will also move the same amount no matter what zoom level I'm in. This is super good for muscle memory and in general very intuitive. So I would personally recommend that. Unfortunately for us, this is not built in and hunt showdown right now. Maybe the devs will provide it later. Unknown, if you know more, feel free to point it out in the comment section down below. But there is a calculator, link to it in the description. And that is what we are going to use. And it's pretty simple, we give our inputs, we get our results, and at the bottom we have some nerd stuff for those who are interested. It's basically the FOV of our input calculated with the different zoom levels of different scopes. So what the FOV on the different scopes are. Nerd. But most of us don't care, so just <laughs> ignore that for now. So input your resolution, your FOV, and your sensitivity. And at the bottom, just copy your setting like it's in game so do you have a zoom when you scope in or not in the ads when you with an iron sight it's just a setting in game just type in the same as it is in game for you the last one we need to enter is the monitor coefficient now what the hell is that so basically when we look around using hipfire or ads our foV changes makes sense because we just zoomed in so basically, how much are we seeing of this box and surrounding area? What we want to achieve now is the set monitor distance in both situations. Now let's take 50% for example. This will make it so that if I move my mouse to this 50% mark, so this roof, then with the bottom part, with the zoomed in one, it would also move 
my scope to the 50% mark there. So both will end up at the 50% mark with the same mouse input. But you have to pick one value because you can only calculate it for one. And for this value, it will be exactly right. For the others, uh, not quite, but insignificant in most cases. Now, why is that? Well, what you see on your monitor is, well, a flat surface. But we look through a lens here, so it's not flat, right? This means that you have some variance. Well, it's kind of complex to explain, especially if you don't speak English that well, so... There's a link to a video in the description down below for mouse sensitivity, which explains it in more detail. Well, and with better English. <laughs> but in short, this means we have to decide on one setting. And I would recommend that you go for the 0%. This means that at 0%, the mouse sensitivity is the exact same to your hip fire. And this is what you have in most cases. In most cases, you move while using hip fire and then zoom in just do a micro flick a micro adjustment so you're already pretty close to your target with a crosshair or at least it should be in most cases which means you want the highest accuracy right at your target because well i don't know about you but i rarely see people who just you know miss that far then zoom in then make a huge flick to the target even though well you can't even see the lady when you zoom in so i would not recommend shooting like that but if you do, you can use higher values. To all the others, I would recommend 0%. So I'm really struggling here to explain that, but I hope it makes sense. If not, just <laughs> enter 0% and you should be good. And after entering that, we get our results. The description might not be the same as in-game, as it's a bit outdated and it changed in-game, but the order is still the same. So just go top to bottom and enter all the sensitivities in-game and you should be good. And there you go. Now you have the perfect settings for your game. Now, how the hell do we get better? There are two ways. One is aim lapse. But what I think is important about aim lapse is that you choose an exercise that fits the game. In Hanchonon, we do a lot of micro flicks. This means that we usually have to adjust our scope just a little bit to hit the hat. So I recommend that you also practice that in aim lapse to micro flicks. Another good thing about aim labs is that you get feedback. So if you tend to overshoot, then maybe your sense is a bit too high. But if the exact opposite is true, then maybe consider increasing your sense a bit. So you get a lot of feedback from those exercises, which can be very, very good. Aim labs in general is a very impressive tool for exercises and improvement. But please, <laughs> don't just play exercises like this all the time. I often see people spending so much time in aim labs and just play stuff like that. Now, what the hell is the point? Have you ever had the situation on Showdown which forced you to be able to do this? I've never seen it, but if you have, feel free to send in a clip. I would love to see it. And don't get me wrong, this exercise can make sense. I also use it when I'm preparing to play Valorant in competitive mode. But that is to warm up the wrist, not to get better. So choose the right exercise for the specific game. Another thing you can do is play the trials from Hunt Showdown itself. Just choose those horde modes and pick whatever you like. There are many to choose from. And a good thing about those is one, well, they are in game and allow you to combine the whole thing with movement and many other mechanics that are in Hunt Showdown. So for example, if you want to practice sniper mode, take a sniper. If you want to practice horde mode, practice those. And they're really focused on those micro flicks with good crosshair placement. Of course, there are many more things to consider in Hunt Sholan, especially in PvP. I already did a video on this link there or in the description. But that's basically it with those settings, tools, basics. Everybody can develop good aim with just some practice. And I hope this video was helpful. If so, don't forget to smash the thumbs up as it really helps the channel. Thanks for that. Subscribe for more videos like this, and if you like the work and want to support the whole thing, consider gifting your free Amazon Prime, link to the Twitch channel down below. Thanks a lot for that, and see you all in the next video. Take care.